we're live. I hope we are. Broadcast upstream. I think we are live. I think we are. <laughs> There you go. Welcome, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to a very, very late live stream. So finally, we have some news about the BMW. So I've been trying to edit a video here with um, a Premiere Pro, and it just fails every single time. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna come live. I've got the clip saved on a computer here, so I can show you guys the clip. But um. Happy to say that we do have some resolution. We do have some outcome on that BMW, which was quite frustrating for a few days. And yeah, so I thought it was, a, it was a good excuse to come live. It's been a while. And what else? Yeah, if, if something goes wrong, I'm using OBS. If something goes wrong, I will probably try during the week, although I'm very, very busy during the week. I pretty much have time for nothing during the week. Um, so I'll try my best to post like an edit video. Uh, at the minute, stuff it very sketchy. The camera currently being powered by uh, the Norco there. So who knows what's gonna happen. <laughs> uh, anything can happen. Hello, mate. How's it going? Hello, Johnny. What's up, mate? You got it sorted? Was it a battery? No, it wasn't a battery. Although I did mess about with that BIS. Uh, uh, IBS, intelligent battery. Yeah, IBS for a while, which I thought it could be, because that's the only figures that I could see wrong with uh, uh, using the snap bomb. Uh, but that was just like a glitch on the snap pole, obviously with the hotel showing 12 volts. Uh, uh, the top dome, 12 volts. And then I borrowed IM608, 12 volts again. And then finally with Insta, again, uh, it's a very weird one because, uh, well, I never had that sort of issue before where, you know, engine light is on but you have no port to discount. Well, apart from the snap on and, and IM608, which is, I cannot explain why they could see a fault. And the other, the other tools couldn't. Bit of a strange one, but I, I felt like with Insta, I should trust Insta. And one thing there was obviously, um, you know, in the back of my mind, uh, I should work or try to find why the engine light was on without the engine running because I did have issues before with uh, EGR in, in sufficient flow. And I think I've got a clip here that I can show you guys uh, where um, you, 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 you were able to clear the fault and then as soon as you start the engine, obviously the engine, uh, the engine light will come on. So I was pretty confident it was on, I wasn't going to be anything like that, you know. Um, it would probably be a fault with intake valve, EGR, but from, uh, it's, you know, straight away, as soon as you put the ignition on, you should see some, some problem. And the test that I've done with Insta, uh, it, which is quite cool, if you follow the, the control, I can't even remember the terminology there because I don't use Easter very, very often, or I think this was like the second time. Um, it actually showed uh, the EGR intake valve soil flap um, actuation and position, and they were like spot on. So I was pretty confident it wasn't going to be anything like that, you know. So, Anyway, from the, from the beginning, I thought it was going to be a software issue. And the car, obviously, I wasn't in the garage during the, during the week. But the other lad took the car to a place in Dorchester, which is probably about 35 miles, which was an experience because it, it was in leap mode. So 
it didn't gather speed that quickly. And uh, so anyway, I've got a clip here to show you guys. Let me, oh, let me put this on here. I've got the wife's headphone here to be able to listen to this as well. So it, it is in Portuguese, unfortunately, but I, uh, if you understand Portuguese, a little bit of Spanish, um, you might be able to figure out what he's saying. And, but I will try to sort of like translate here, do my best to translate here. So the guy that did the software or the reflash, software update slash reflash, obviously he didn't like him to film. So he did film a little bit. It's only, only have, let me do the transition here. So you only have the, obviously the video of the car here with, uh, the battery maintainer there, which is a well-known battery maintainer, and then he should be able to hear there. So that was the moment that he was obviously doing it. Então aqui com a BMW que tava dando problema. So now he's saying we are here with the BMW. There was we we were having an issue. E levamos ela para um rapaz ali, fez um reset no software. So taking to the guy does the reset of the software, but it's reflashed software. E agora, ela apagou as luzes. So now the lights are off. Now it's not on link mode anymore. It revs over 3000. Four codes, no not four codes. codes. And now she is very good. Sem defeitos, sem defeitos, andando bem, normal. So no faults, running well. Eita, zero. So now that is him driving to London to take the car back to the woman um, on the motorway. So it's a good, I would say, 95 miles at least on a motorway, and he said it was driving really, really well. Sem luz, sem nada agora. Graças a Deus. So he was happy. <laughs> so there we go. So that, that is the clip. Obviously, I wasn't there to film it. Um, or, yeah, he basically had to take the car to the guy that does the reflash, and, and uh, he sort the issue out. Re, re, uh, rescan the car, no fault codes, so it was definitely a software issue. But again, from the beginning, I uh, I was kind of thinking, you know, how how is this possible? I mean, it, the car came half the same board, like I mentioned. Um, talking to to the lady who owns the car. She didn't say anything that was, you know, it was done to the car. She said the, the software update was done in January, which I understand if you take to BMW or any other independent garage that, you know, um, would see that there is a software update they would do. Uh, that could be the reason, but she said she hasn't taken the car to any garage in January or whatever. So I don't know. The story is kind of, you know, from the beginning, sometimes you can't trust what uh, people say, you know, if they want to really uh, get the car fixed, sometimes they, they could hide things from you. But anyway, so that is that is what happened. Uh, and uh, Simon, I think he left a comment about um, if EOBD, we had any faults, so we did. We did have an insufficient flow, EGR insufficient flow. And I had that before, and I'm gonna to try to, to pull here. So this is a clip from uh, Audi Q5 or Q7. That is a while ago, but the same issue. Uh, let me take the sound off of this one. I don't know how I can do that. Uh, right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to try to how do I remove the sound? Maybe here. Let's see. Yeah. So I hope you can, you guys can hear me still. So this one, Audi Q5 or Q7, 
insufficient EGR flow, and someone worked on it, had um, all the bolts, uh, some, some of the bolts for the EGR missing, and it's, the EGR was basically moving about when the, the engine was on. Even the bolts there, if you, if you can see the fixing there for, for that EGR, is worn out the way that was vibrating. So it's worn out there. And yeah, it's, it was just vibrating along. And then obviously you have those Volkswagen Audi corrugated pipes for the EGR. And, and you see it here, there was a, there was a crack. Well, cracking over is pretty much broken. As, you move, as I'm moving the EGR, you can see there. So the car could detect, you know, that there was an issue there. I replaced this pipe, I think it was like 70 quid. Replaced it, replaced all the bolts, and yeah, cleared the faults, and the car was all good. Johnny, very strange. Yeah, very strange, mate. <laughs> um, so yeah, so, you know, that's what I was expecting. If, if this vehicle had AGR, it's sufficient flow like EOBG was saying, um, I would expect to, to have that when the car was running, not from the um, ignition being on. You know, I could be wrong, I don't know, but um, that's what I was expecting anyway. Uh, what else? Yeah, I don't think I have any any more videos here to show. So that was the three videos that that he sent me because I asked him. He said, "Look, just try to to video a little bit when you are uh, the reflashing place, the guy that does reflashing and stuff. Try to film it." He he said he felt the guy didn't really want to to be filmed or anything to be filmed. Which you can understand, you know, I, I respect that. And uh, and then afterwards, he drove back, said it was spot on, it's perfect. Um, and then I said, I'll just make another video so I can show you guys what happened. But why it happened is a question mark. Um, maybe, obviously the car came with the, the Engine half is the same, but I don't know if the other garage was doing tests and run out of battery because those cars can be quite sensitive for low voltage. Uh, and the car came pretty much battery drained. We had to um, charge it up. So I don't know down those lines if something strange happened there. But anyway, so that is the um, the resolution for this car. Uh, I think he, I don't know if you guys can hear me and, and see the videos there all right, but that is what happened. I'll put that video again. And he filmed it, obviously, like a TikToker. So I had to try to, <laughs> to make things a little bit better here. Um... Let me try to sort this out. Mm. Oh, I think I messed it up now. Anyway, I hope the first time they came along, you guys could, could see it well there. Um, Yeah. I'll put the sound. Zero. Turn it down a little bit. Sem luz, sem nada agora. Graças a Deus. So yeah, he was happy. So anyway, guys, that's it. That is the end of that BMW. Um, yeah, it was it was quite interesting because I never had that before. 
Uh, I've got another couple videos coming very, very soon for a, an Audi. Uh, I filmed one today for a Skoda Superb, uh, 2007, 2017 or 2018. Those uh, electric boots. So I'm trying to film a little bit more. <laughs> but um, yeah, yeah, it's been uh, quite... Um, Quite busy at the minute, as you, not all of you know, but I've been uh, employed by a company for about 10 months now. And so I'm not in a garage like full time uh, anymore. And so, yeah, it's been a, a good experience, a good challenge, but seem to be winning at the minute. So there you go, guys. I'm gonna uh, thanks very much, Johnny, for all popping and popping by. I don't know how many people here. Uh, five people. Yeah, thank you, guys, for popping by. So that is the resolution with this uh, BMW. And uh, if you have more questions, far away, or I'm gonna let you guys uh, go to bed. It's nearly. Oh, it's eleven o'clock. It's eleven o'clock now. Have you guys experienced anything like that before? Have you seen that before? Oh, let me take this off now. Yeah, see you later, Johnny. Talk to you later, mate. All right, guys, see, there's no questions. So thank you very much for watching, as always. And uh, 